Hello you lot. Before we get cracking with this week's episode, we've got a very exciting announcement. We are doing a live show on Wednesday the 30th of December at Up The Creek Comedy Club in Greenwich. The first wave of tickets are now on sale and can be found on the Up The Creek website. The ticket link can also be found on the That Josh James Show Instagram page. We've got some very special guests lined up, a few surprises, Q&A, and who knows, White Boy may even get up and give us a song or two. So come join us for a great night out in our new home of South London. See you there. Hello, welcome back to that Josh James show with me, stand-up comedian Josh James. (laughs) As ever, I'm joined by my right-hand man. Chrissy White, a.k.a. White Boy, Romford's number one podcaster. What a grandson. How are we doing, Josh? Good, mate. You all right? Yeah, mate. Good to be here. Good to see you again. <coughs> mate, the outfit's looking great today. Thanks, mate. Yeah, look, I tried a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm. Like Roadman style. Yeah, I need to get one of them night like, texts. It's got a little bit colder. I like the cold weather. Yeah, mate. The, when you've got a bit of a belly like both of us... And I know you don't beat for yourself. I bro. know you don't like when I'm I say in the, that. I'm mate. in the gym at the minute, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You still it got, ain't gonna be long. You still got that belly, mate. It ain't gonna be long, mate. You still got the you still got the love handles. Yeah, the moisey. You got the moisey. Yeah. Uh, but what's great about when it gets a bit colder is that you can put on layers and it don't really matter. Cover it up a little bit. Cover it up massively, mate. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I've got different like I've got different bits of clothing for when I'm a bit slimmer. And then I've got clothes, what I like to say, I say this is fat proof. Yeah. Which means it's a bit looser. Best thing for that, the gilet. Gilet, but just like baggier shirts and that. Yeah, so. 100%. Yeah, well look, funny you mention that, mate. So I watched back the podcast where I'm talking about where I got the love handles like David Moyes. And uh, mate, I've made the decision. I've got a nutritionist yeah. and a trainer. And I've been on it for about a month now. I will, mark my words, be in incredible shape by the summer. Okay. Right? Well, I believe it when I see it, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking about doing like a body transformation post. Oh, really? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. shame myself, post one now, so like for motivation. But yeah, I'm all over it, mate. Do you ever remember when one of our mates, Ginge, he used to like, for some reason, he started selling Herbal Life? Yeah. I remember the photos. <laughs> the pants. I can make your bedrock on the pants. Yeah. Remember that? It was like a little thong. But, mate, uh, weirdest thing that he was selling Herbal Life. Yeah. He's probably the most unhealthy person I know. Well, I'm pretty sure there have been times in his life when he sold other sort of substances. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just mad that you'd be going to him to get your Herbal Life. Yeah. No, you probably wouldn't. You know, Is mate. Is still c- going, Herbal Life? I think so, yeah. My, my dad used to sell it for a bit when he was younger. Did he? Yeah, it's been business around for years. But... um. Yeah, mad to think you'd like call him up one week and be like, oh, mate, you got any uh, bits and bobs on your herbal life? Yeah. <laughs> some protein, shakes, Got some mate. protein. You'd be like, oh, fucking hell, mate. No, I was talking about the hard stuff. But yeah. there you go, mate. I went uh, I went and watched Billy Ricky Town on the weekend. Oh, nice. How'd it go? Mate, it was good. It was an FA Cup game, Who'd actually. Uh, Sheppey United. Sheppey? Yeah, I think Isla that's Sheppey. Isla Sheppey, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's mad, mate. There was this geezer on the, on the Sheppey, like, away supporters just like proper off his chops loves his sheppy just like uh, mate it was a bit of an eye opener really like they was all like stonied up and that yeah so they obviously yeah away firm they sort of see themselves as like you know what I mean they're firm but I'm like it's mad even like clubs at that level yeah still got geezers they're not a very notorious firm are they sheppy but it was yeah it was he was just standing on the barriers the whole time he was he was proper loved it but off his nut as well. Yeah. He had this like haircut where he looked like he just had, I mean, I've never been Isla Sheppey, but a few of them had this haircut. It literally looked like they had a bowl. Someone had put a bowl around their head and then they'd shaved it. Yeah. Around the side. Skin fade, but without the blend. Yeah, it was, it was, it was weird. It, it's probably a very like popular haircut in Sheppey. I in reckon. Sheppey. You know what I mean? Yeah. The only person I ever knew from Sheppey I was working in City, and this bloke used to live in the Isle of Sheppey. Yeah. But worked in London every day, and he'd get like a Because it's a trek, mate. Yeah, it's a slap. I think it was like a two-hour commute there and back every day. Yeah, it's Four not. hours total. I mean, he had a good job. It was probably worth it. But yeah, mate. Never what was there. he like? <sighs> 
bit of a Hagrid vibe. Yeah. Yeah, like an that's outdoorsman. A, that's the sort of vibe I got from these blokes. It's yeah. like they're sort of... Bit different. There was something not quite... Yeah. Couldn't put my finger on it. Yeah, I would definitely say Hagrid. Long hair, beard, bit scruffy looking, but like had a really good job. What would be our equivalent? Maybe like Canvey Island. No. But Canvey Island's clo probably closer to London than Sheppey. Yeah, it probably is. Nah, it's not like Canvey. Nah. It ain't like Canvey. Different level over there, mate. Yeah. I just got back from Wales. I was over there the weekend, mate. We had such a good weekend. Like nice. right up on the coast. Beautiful little country house. It was like 25 of us, mate. It weren't relaxing. Bare kids. Yeah. But um, we had a really good time. Bit of rock climbing and that. Jumped in the sea. Bit of rock sick. climbing, yeah? Yeah. Love all that. Yeah. Mate, I've got all the bits. I've got like these North Face hiking boots. Yeah? I, I put them on and I just proper feel Mate, like what is it with people that used to take copious amount of drugs? As soon as they get clean, then they get into fucking hiking. Hiking, and, like, yeah. Cold water dips and shit. I mean, I've been doing a lot of that as well. Yeah, mate. What is it with you? <laughs> look, they just look. Look, we come down to this beach here. It's called White Sands. It's beautiful. The sand weren't fucking white. I'm expecting it to be like the Maldives. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was beautiful, really nice, and um, the waves was crashing in. There was all people out there surfing, and I just looked like, oh, I'm fucking getting in there. You know yeah. what I mean? Had a little walk, kick about, and then um, got in the pants, mate, and went in. You got to find your kick some other way. Yeah. yeah, I tell you what, I come out of there buzzing. So like, I hear people talking about cold plunges and yeah, like the I'm, dopamine I'm release and stuff like that. Jamesy, it's a thing. I come out of that sea, I was buzzing, mate. Uh, mate, I'll tell you why you're buzzing, right? Because so all these people that do the cold water plunges and that, yeah. and they're like, yeah, I'm going to jump in the sea, it's freezing cold. I'm buzzing after, yeah. I'll tell you why you're <laughs> buzzing now, because you're not in the fucking freezing cold water. <laughs> and it's warm out here. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. like, it's like people that I mean, fucking... I've got a cold plunge in my It's garden. like people that skydive, right? They skydive and after they're like, whoa, what a rush. It's like, yeah, because you thought you were going to die, <laughs> yeah. right? But you made it. But you are alive now. Yeah. You know You're what I mean? You're probably right. But look, whatever it is, I'm just saying, it's not a myth. It fucking works. Because I come out of there and my mood was like brilliant for yeah. a few hours after. Yeah. <laughs> it was, mate. mate. Me and my mate, missus was rowing in the morning. Just, I jumped in, come out, and we was fine. It's you just textbook, isn't it? Fucking gear head. Recovery, hiking. spiritual hiking, cold water dipping shit. Yeah. You know? Mate, I left my phone in the house for like two days. Yeah, no, that's good. I, it was so nice. I fucking hate my phone. Like literally, I got loads of sponsees, yeah. Fucking drive back on the way home, like I switched my phone back on and I just had like hundreds of messages from people like, Oh, everyone's really? everyone's okay. They're like, mate, I don't know where you went. I'm yeah. fucking oh, relapsed. No, 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 no one relapsed. <laughs> everyone's fine. Funny enough, talking about that, I just took my first sponsee all the way through the 12 steps. Oh, well done, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, big moment. Nice. Big moment. He's doing really well. Good. Bless him. Shout Young out, kid Charlie. or old? Um, about my age, actually. But you're Monster age, yeah. of a man. Yeah. Big lump. Tattoos nice. on his face. Ah, oh, lovely. You won't want to write Andrew off him. What tattoos he got on I'll, his face? I'll take the gentle approach to sponsoring him. You know what, what I mean? What, what a a tattoo he got on his face? He's covered in tattoos. What, what's the one on his face, though? It's like that mandala, you know, it's like a thing, it like proper comes out. Oh, like the either. Tyson? No, it's not like tribal. It's like mandala, it's called. The boys will know what I'm talking about. It's like, um, it's like these nutty little patterns. His tattoos are good. His tattoos I walked past sick. the bird the other day. She was walking her chihuahuas. Quite a big girl. She had a fucking one of the old Mike Tyson on her face. An actual Mike Tyson? Yeah. It's a bad move, that, wasn't it? Mate, I... I looked down, I see these chihuahuas, I just looked up, I was like, oh, she had the fucking old Mike Tyson on her face. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's, why? I'm just thinking to myself, like, what what job have you got? You know what I mean? Yeah, she probably hasn't got a job. Where but saying you... that now, the way things are going, I reckon you could probably get a job anyway. I'm not hiring someone with a tattoo on their face. No, not people call facing. Me, call me old fashioned. <laughs> 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 she ain't gonna be front of house put it that way call me old fashioned if I've yeah. got a business you know I'm not, I don't judge anyone with tattoos I think there's some lovely tattoos out there for sure yeah and but if you've got one on your face that ain't good customer facing have you seen my dinosaur tattoos um yeah on my legs you drew them on yourself the one I've done myself yeah that was another thing I was gonna do when I got clean it's gonna be a tattoo artist was you? yeah <laughs> I'd done two tattoos on my legs. I was like, nah, fuck that. I need, I need to do something different. Yeah, fuck that. But anyway, I was over Billericay. Yeah, go on. And yeah, all these, uh, they call themselves Sheppyites or the she Ites. I don't know whether that's short for Sheppyite or whatever. Fuck no. Yeah, the Ites. Yeah. Uh, 
and then they was all singing songs about like to the Billy Ricky fans about fucking Essex boys like mugs or whatever it's quite funny yeah but mate the standard was really good it was FA Cup but what made me laugh is half time and I, my son with me and this guy he's come over he's like oh mate it's you oh no <laughs> got recognised I was like alright oh, mate yeah you alright he goes yeah he just come up and he hugged me oh I love it mate <laughs> you made his day and then he messaged me after and he was like, mate, I saw I was a bit pissed. I like, sorry for coming, just coming up and hugging you. Yeah. And do you know what? I was actually like, no, no, don't worry about it, mate. Do you know how good I felt after that hug? Yeah, I bet you did, mate. I felt great. Look, you've made a difference in that man's life. For him to come up and hug you, he's a fan. But it's not, mate, I'll tell you what. If any people listening, if you ever see me or white boy just out and about, come up and give us a hug. Yeah. Because that done loads for me. Yeah, yeah, I bet he did. Did I tell you I got recognised? At the gym? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, mate, it was fucking brilliant. I'm standing there on the triceps, and this bloke's like looking at me, and I'm like, I don't know who this person is. You know yeah. what I mean? He's like, you do the, the podcast, <laughs> Josie. I'm like, yeah, that's me, bro. He was like, oh, I love it. Like, listen every week. I'm like, fucking brilliant, mate. Love that. I belled you as soon as I come out there. Yeah, you're buzzing. <laughs> you're so do you know buzzing. what, mate? You can usually tell, like, even if people don't say hello. Yeah. You can usually tell because, like, you can just feel them looking at you. Yeah, but and you it, don't know who they are. Or because, or that you can hear they're having a conversation and it goes quiet. Yeah. Because they're looking at you. They're thinking, is that, is that, is that that guy? And because obviously we're well, not fucking, I'm not like, I'm not famous or nothing like that. After the time, I think it goes quiet because they're thinking, where do I know that guy from? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As opposed to if you walk past David Beckham, in, in, in the street, oh my God, that's David Beckham. You know Beckham. who David Beckham is. You know who David Bex yeah. is. Like, now I, more than ever. You with me, you're thinking, is that is that the geezer that makes like football sketches or is that is that Martin Kemp or is that <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I do. Yeah, mate. So they're trying to put two and two together, but So look, you mentioned Beckham. Yeah. Have you seen it? Ah, oh, of course I have. It's so good. Isn't so it? good. Mate, me and my missus are sitting there watching it. We're like two, three episodes in. Yeah. And we was like, Oh, I love this geezer so much. She was like, I feel. She was like, I feel like I'm part of the family. <laughs> you know what I mean, mate? I'll tell you what. That is what he's been good at galvanising. Is that literally, he is, like, people just love him. Yeah, but for good reason. Like, so one thing that surprised me is the fact that it was all about football. Yeah, it was five episodes, four episodes long. It could have been ten episodes long. Oh, it was a lot about him as a and brand. And could have though. gone a lot deeper into like the ins and outs and like things that no one knows about. It was just sort of going over things that we already know. But I, I wish it was a bit deeper into about him and like the kids and this that and the other because like we knew all that stuff about the football. Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, but with all due respect, fuck the kids, man. No, but fuck, I got no interest. I got no interest. What I'm saying the is the trouble is, I think with his kids is they think. They think we're all interested in them. Like this Brooklyn Beckham, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna, he's on Instagram. Yeah, I'm gonna cook some stuff today. Fuck off, no one cares. I like, don't know, he's I got this book. Care. He's got this book, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> I do. He's got a book, a photography book that he oh released. Oh my God, I saw that, Mate, the bro. photos. It's so bad. The photos are like, are you? Elephant, the elephant one. The ele you mate, you think, see what it. the fuck? And he's putting all the captions there. That's the trouble. They think we give a fuck about them. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Sorry, Brooklyn, I'm sure you're a lovely geezer and I'd love to meet you one day. And if I ever did meet you, you better believe I'm not coming with this energy. I'm yeah, gonna of course be, you're not, I'm going to be right up your ass, You're going to be cuddling I'm in that, be, that Sheppy but guy. But fucking hell, you're Brooklyn Beckham. <laughs> I bought your book, mate. Oh, <laughs> fucking, what about that picture of the elephant? You were far, oh, mate. You're, you're a talent. You know, but it goes unnoticed yeah. because your dad, dad's David Beckham. Goes unnoticed. How talented you are, mate. But listen, I'm going to be up his ass, but no one really gives a fuck about the kids. No, I wanted to know more. I really did. Look. Well, if I'm you do, is, go buy that book. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't care about them photos, mate. I saw a couple of them posts. It made me laugh, mate. They're so shit. They're bad, yeah. But um, yeah, mate, it was really interesting, wasn't it? So he was like so in love with his missus. He would drive four hours. So that's Manchester to London. Yeah. For a bunk up in the motor, 10 minutes. Do you don't know if they were shagging? Why would he drive four hours? Well, it might just be like he, like he loves her. Yeah, he loves her so much that he needed to bang her. James, yeah. he, don't be naive, bruv. Just because he didn't say it in the programme, what do you think he went there for? They could have done that over the phone. Jen? 
hundred percent. Hundred percent. I didn't get that from that. What yeah. I what I got. Why from would he that, drive four hours? Because he wants to be in her company. No, it's right. not all about. It's not all about sex. No, mate. it's not. But what I'm saying is, you can have. A, my missus is from Manchester, right? She lived up there for a while. The first thing you do when you see each other, <laughs> you bang. <laughs> <laughs> You can do a conversation on the phone. If you need to see it, like, obviously they didn't have FaceTime then, but you know what I mean? You could do all that on the phone, like the dirty... Yeah, 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 it's not the same. What I'm... Is it, on, is it, is it not? Look, uh, you, you've been very naive there. He's driven four hours for a bunker. Oh, okay. I thought she was going has. to go like, watch his standards with her or no, something. No, mate. And he said that she was like, oh, our first kiss was in the car. I'm like, yeah, all right. Then. Yeah, you yeah. I mean? Yeah, kiss on his balls. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Kiss on the Ampton. Yeah, but, kiss um, on. Yeah, come on, Jamesy. You're better. Okay, oh, I get that. Ah, that makes sense. Because then they're saying he's coming back tired. Yeah. Of course, he's, he's, he's fucking. He's been that. having a roll around in he's the He's hanging out the posh, back of Posh Bice. Yeah, exactly. She was gorgeous. She was she gorgeous. She was, mate. Don't you think um, it's mad to see like how women were back then, like just natural? Natural. Compared to Not what. Not really on the gym thing. Exactly. Compared to what girls at that age yeah. are like now nah, mad to see yeah it because proper natural like posh, a little crooked yeah. tooth here and there you know yeah. what i mean yeah because actually they're going back again oh he's really good looking and all this and actually i'm i'm basing that off of today like football they've got their teeth done of course you know he, he, he they're having their hair cut done and every every yeah. week he looked a bit greasy but he's a very good looking bloke and uh, beckham beckham oh yeah it's just a fucking unbelievable looking geezer mate like so after that whole World Cup thing where he kicks the geezer, yeah. What a prick, Glenn Oddle. But, but this is it. Nah, mate. Right. Liberty. My dad's going to be very upset with you for saying that. I don't that. care. I like, I like to get my dad at it, right, because yeah. he's not into David Beckham. I think to, my dad's two heroes, right, are Glenn Hoddle yeah. and Nigel Farage. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, why, why are they your two heroes? He goes, well, you know, Glenn Oddle is a scorer of the goals. Farage protects the borders. Right. right, right, right fair <laughs> okay. enough. Defends the borders. <laughs> okay. what, a, what, a, what a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Hoddle attack. For Farage a, on defence. Farage yeah. on defence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 G, GK laughing look yeah, yeah, yeah. GK shouldn't be laughing we've got that. him a few times today Ch GK yeah we've got him a few <laughs> times today GK, GK are you a fan of Nigel Farage not really <laughs> are you not no nah. nah. do you reckon any black people are fans of Nigel Farage uh, probably ones that support Millwall probably ones that support Millwall <laughs> which ain't there ain't many there of ain't them there ain't many there ain't many of them nah it's definitely a minority Um, but yeah what was I saying I go, Glenn Oddle. I like to get him at it. Like we was watching his Pele documentary once, and my dad, dad ain't a fan of David Beckham. And I go, I go, Pele he was good. I was like, yeah, but you know, he's probably like oh, he couldn't take a free kick like David Beckham. And he'd be like, Fuck, yeah, 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 start twitching. Oh mate, he was like, like his eyes going, <laughs> goes mad. But with Hoddle, one thing I say is that listen, with any of these documentaries, there's a narrative that's pushed in it. Jamesy. And they've basically sort of blamed Glenn Hoddle for all that sort of stuff. Nah, you can't come out, right? And that, Ferguson said it best. Bearing in mind, Glenn Hoddle is David Beckham's hero growing up. True. Loved him. But Loved the way he played. He had the barnet, the short shorts, bit of like style, if, if it was back yeah, in the was, day. he was, no, he right? was, yeah. He then gets an opportunity to play for Glenn Hoddle for, in his first England caps, his first like run at the England team. And... He makes a mistake, granted. He was 23. You're a fucking kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. On the biggest stage. Got to protect him a bit. You got to put your arm around that geezer. He's coming out like, of course it was his fault. You don't say that stuff. And but then listen, Ferguson, Hines, he's interviewed, he's like, no matter what fucking happens, I'll deal with that in the changing room, one yeah. on one. You don't go to the press with that stuff. So for me, Glenn Oddle, prick. And what did Hoddle say once as well? Sorry to get my phone out, lads, but I need to check this because um, this might this might actually support your argument. Um, uh, so, do you remember why he got sacked from England? Hoddle. No. Glenn Hoddle lost his job as England manager in 1999 after making a series of controversial comments about disabled people in a newspaper interview. Oh, really? 
He said, you and I have been physically given two hands and two legs and de- the half decent brains. Hoddle was quoted as saying, some people have not been born like that for a reason. And it was all like... Yeah, I that's think, outrageous. Yeah, so... And this is in the 90s. He's in the 90s. I mean, yeah, any you time. Could, but you I think, it, I think he 90s. put that down to like Christianity is in maybe they've done something before. So... It was the, all for God. I think he so. Loves his Jesus. But listen, I think Hoddle's all right. I think Hoddle's all right. Listen, I think maybe at the time he's trying to save his skin to keep his job. Of course he is. Job. But what I'm saying is, as the leader and the manager, especially of the fucking international team, you you wear it. But listen. You don't blame your players. Okay, agreed. Hoddle was part of that. But everyone acted like dickheads. I can remember when, when Beckham got sent off. That is the first World Cup I can remember watching. Right? Me too. I was eight years old, I think. Yeah. I can remember being watching it in my front room. Going, Beggum, you fucking wanker. <laughs> like an eight year old. And like my yeah. dad's watching it with me. He's not going, whoa, 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 enough. Yeah, he's yeah. like, yeah, he's a fucking wanker. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, Beggum, you fucking wanker. We were going to win a World Cup. You know, yeah. like I was bit, from an early Look, age. I, com- it I was- completely agree with what you're saying. I do. But, and then like, so this is what I'm basically saying. The point I was trying to get to. He took so much fucking abuse. A bit, mate, so much. Bruv. Too it much. Was bad. Yeah, it's terrible. Really bad. And um, fucking turned it round, didn't he? Turned Went it round. from like the most hated to probably one of the most loved people. Yeah, he's our national treasure. He really is. Yeah, he really is. And always will be. But do you know, do you, this, is, this is what like, this is what half winds me up about football really is it's so fickle. Mm. So he gets sent off there, whereas really shouldn't have got sent off for that. He, he didn't really do... So when he done Simeone with a leg... Yeah, I mean, he, it's a liberty. The ref was looking straight he at it. He shouldn't really... Plus it was Simeone, but, he's going to go down. Uh, but they had, they had a, a pub in London, had a, had a noose with a Beckham thing yeah, yeah, hanging out of the pub. Of and people were like... <laughs> see the geezer like, no, I ain't my dummy, I borrowed it off a pal. Yeah, <laughs> and he sort of couldn't <laughs> see what was wrong with it. Yeah. But, but this is how fickle football fans are. You know, he goes and scores that goal against Greece and he's like, he's the man. All That's the, it, hero. He's the man again. It's like, it's like you look at Harry Maguire now, right? And obviously, he's had terrible form over the last year or so. He's getting death threats. He's getting stick. He's getting this and that, right? If he goes back to scoring, like, knocking in headers for England... Slab it. You best believe Harry Maguire, right, could be the son of Osama Bin Laden. Yeah. People would be singing his praises on the terraces. Yeah. They would be like, oh, he's just like his old man he is, isn't he? And look, another touch of class Dangerous from in the air. <laughs> you know, that's what they would, that's what they would be doing. Another touch of class from Beckham, no. He's reached out to Harry Maguire, personally, and gone and see him and have sat down and he's had a chat and told him like the best ways to handle this sort of stuff. Yeah. But that it, come out. It's sad, it's sad. I think it's sad that people got to react that way, really. Yeah, I mean, Harry Maguire is playing pretty shit though, isn't he? But yeah, but... As it mattered, what was it, a friendly? What? I mean... It's not a fucking it, World what, Cup. What, I, think, I think if you if you get to the point where you're sending death threats to... Or, or actually, if you're getting so wound up over someone because they're not playing that well... Yeah, you should probably look at yourself. You, mate, you've got to massively look at yourself. Yeah. 100%. But he did do, he did do well. He did have a great career. Um, Bex. Bex. Just a G. Just a G. How about when his second baby's just about to be born and he's like, no, 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 I can't do that day. I've got a photo shoot. And he goes and meets J-Lo. Oh, J-Lo, and Beyonce. Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's standing there with yeah. his two worldies. Yeah. How funny, mate. And it says in the papers, what would Posh say? It cuts to her and she's like, Posh was fucking pissed do off. You know who, <laughs> do you know who I rate massively? Posh Bias. Yeah, mate. Mate. She people don't realise. I think she's fucking jokes. Yeah, mate, I, she's good. She's so funny, mate. What about that bit when they're like, and they're all chanting, "Posh pie stakes it up the arse," <laughs> and she's like laughing about it. Yeah, and the bird next to her is like, "Would you, want, would you like a polo?" She yeah. like, didn't know what to say. She, I've always thought she's really, really funny. Yeah. Uh, so the best thing for me, have you seen Ali G? Posh and Bex. It's the best. Mate, it is so good. My mate here, when I lived in Australia, used to have it on a CD and we would just play it in the car while we was driving around, mate. Yeah. That's like, when you go back to them days when he couldn't really speak. No. And she used to take the lead. Mate, she's good. He did it. He was really sheepish, Well, that's what Ali G says. He's like, don't think this is like classroom, yeah? We can sit in the corner and I won't ask you no questions. But isn't it mad? It's like this David Beckham is probably like one of the coolest geezers in the world. Like, looks amazing. Always dressed. Like, been on the 
forefront of like fashion, isn't he? Yeah. You know what I mean? And even back then, it was like he was Mr. Cool, and then he'd open his mouth and he'd be like, "Oh, I'm David Beckham." Yeah, but look, let's let's get real. He's a bit of a goon. But David Beckham's a goat. That's He's a big a bit, shout. Think about it. <laughs> think about it. Right. Think about it. He never went out boozing. David Beckham. He never went out boozing. Think about it. <laughs> He's a bit of a nerd. It's like what we were talking about earlier. Exactly that. Right? <laughs> well, whereas some you people... You see the photos and the folk, like, the glamorous light, this, that, and the other. Think about it. Yeah. He's, so, mate, he's an in-betweener. He's, he's an in-betweener. Yeah. Oh, is he an in-betweener, though? He's an in-betweener. He's like, I never used he's to like go out... He's a really all... handsome in-betweener. It's so true. It's like what we were saying earlier. It's like, if you, you see a geezer who you might have met straight away and he's got, like, he's got a sports car, he's got a big Rolex, but there's something off about him. You yeah. think... This, there's something not quite right about this geezer. And you're like, oh, because he was a bit of a goon in school. There you go. He was an in-betweener. He was, David Beckham is an in-betweener. So you're, you're, Gary Neville was a full-on nerd. So you're, and Beckham's his pal. You're you know chucking I mean? it out there. If, if Beckham weren't good at football, oh mate, what would he be up to? What would he have been up to? <sighs> don't know. I don't think he'd have cut it on a building I site. Ju- I don't know. I tell you, he wouldn't have cut it on a building no. site. Do you know what he would have done? He would have been like, if he didn't make it as a pro footballer, he would have probably worked as like an insurance broker. Could be insurance. At, at Lloyd's. I could see him going quite far in the council. <laughs> Company man. No, I see, because I think he'd, he'd, he's materialistic, so he'd want a bit of something. He'd go get a job as an insurance broker in Lloyd's because he's not like one of the top, he's not like working for like an ICAP or like, yeah, yeah. he's not doing like the sexy sort of broken Ins- the safe bet e- insurance is quite easy to get into really you know they, but they all sort of fancy themselves a bit as like i'm the fucking man do you know what i mean okay um, i'm friends with an insurance broker oh yeah what's yeah. he like one of the nicest people i've ever yeah. met yeah well yeah shout out willis shout out, yeah but <laughs> i've got a big, big listener of this podcast actually g-man um yeah, yeah. who uh He's an insurance underwriter. Oh, is he really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if this is what Willis does, but uh, yeah, mate, one of my oldest friends went primary school together and uh, don't see him that often, but when we do, he's just he's just a really, really nice fellow, mate. Yeah, but that's what I think he'd be doing. He'd be he'd be there. Um, but yeah, that's a big shout saying that David Beckham's a goon. But it's true. <laughs> Take enough. away the glitz and glamour, yeah. mate. Think about you know, the way right. he lived his life. You're right. Nerds. He is a goon. He called yeah. his fucking son Romeo. Yeah. He's a goon. <laughs> I, you know what? I really like You're that bit. You're a fucking bit. goon. I really like that bit at the end where he's like, you think about the upbringing that his kids have had and he's like, they should be little shits, but they're not. I love that. Yeah, but I watched that bit. I'm like, are they not though? Yeah, but They're not to you. Not. I'm not, not to you, but we all follow Brooklyn on Instagram. He ain't like Mate, the same as the, the rest of us. The only thing I've got to go off is that how me and my brothers were. Like, they're good as gold, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're good as gold. That's mad, though. I'll tell you what, when they name their kid, like, Brooklyn, Romeo, Cruz, all this, that's when it started with people, like, calling their yeah, kids getting outrageous wacky with the names. names yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The trouble is, it's like, you can get away with it when you're David and, like, David Beckham and Posh Spice. Yeah, you know what you I mean? But how many people do we know who, like, you know... They're like, oh, what's, what's, what's the kid's name? Uh, Destiny. Yeah, and no be good. Like, oh, no, you know that's... what I saw the other day? This bird had called her son, Samaj. Samaj. It's James backwards. Really? <laughs> 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 Mate, don't give me ideas. <laughs> <It's> fucking, <laughs> that is fucking bad, isn't Samaj. it? Samaj. Why, why, did he, why did she not just go with James? That would be the logical thing to do. James Samaj. backwards. S E M. What's Chris AJ. I don't think it works, mate. Chris. Oh, mate, I couldn't even tell you what I don't that think is. It works. So you're talking about Ali G. I've actually got a couple of these, uh, a couple of these clips now uh, from the Ali G interview. They're fucking gold. Let's have a look. Now, Beckham, do you reckon the better the footballer you is, the fitter the girl you go out with? <laughs> Obviously. So you is the best at footy, you know. So you get posh. So the Sporty Spice go out with someone from Scum Foot United? You know? <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. What do you mean? That's my friend and she's lovely. Exactly. Why? Is he trying to say Scum Foot is not a good thing? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get away with that now, could you? I mean, look, the geezer's just a G. You know he's bringing that character back? 
Ali J. Yeah. No, really. I think there's like another one. Yeah, I heard of Roma. Me heard there is an insulting song that they sing about you. What is the words? They say posh spice. <laughs> you, that you take it up the arse. That's what they say. But that ain't insulting. That is the biggest compliment you can pay to. <laughs> no, but seriously, does you take it up the bucket? <laughs> no, of course I don't. Beckham, you're telling me you ain't never been caught offside? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but me heard you was well good at getting round the back and swinging your balls in. <laughs> they do say it's the way you bend it, I have to say. It. <laughs> respect, respect. A little bit of a different vibe from <laughs> Parkinson, weren't <what? Yeah. laughs> Yeah, he, that's it, because he was on Park they were on Parkinson like the month and before. And she said and she called him Golden Balls. Yeah. That's where Golden Balls yeah, come from. It. Um she was like, I called him Golden Balls. Yeah, but she was a lot more chatty. But I've always yeah, found her. Yeah, she was um, definitely a lot more chatty back then. Uh, why do you think she gets a bit of stick? I think it may be the papers. But I think I think she's great. Mate, I think she's great. And I so thought she's fucking hounded by the press, like constantly, mate. It's like it's too much. When that happens, it's gonna make a person guarded. You're gonna say less. You know what I mean? Say less, fam. Say less. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was he was saying less before Top Boy. He had been saying less. He was the original <laughs> say less, bro. <bruv. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> David Bex. Bex and Posh, say less. Say less. No, nah, mate. The less you say, the less they've Maybe got Maybe we you. can start that. Instead of going say less, we can be like, keep it Brex, bruv. Keep it Bex. Keep it Bex or just Bex, bruv. Yeah. Bex. Posh, fam. Yeah, <laughs> Posh and Bex, bruv. Posh and Bex. <laughs> What's that? Say less, fam. Say no. Oh, do you know yeah, what? It's I too, used it's to, too I much. Used, I used to be mates of a guy. Uh, he's a, he was fucking funny, mate. Do you know what? He reminds me of Ali G. Like the way he was, he's like, um, I mean, I've told you about him before, but he's like, he's quite gangly and, he, but he was just had a really funny way about Who him. Who is this guy? Uh, I can't really say too much. No, really, of course not. Because, but anyway, he was sort of like doing a bit of running around Ooh. for someone. He was sort of like doing a bit of running around for someone, let's say. Oh, okay. Right, and he dropped me something off to someone, and someone goes to <laughs> someone goes to him like they do the exchange, right? And he then he spuds him, and he goes, and the other guy goes to him, say nothing, and he goes, don't worry, I won't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, 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 I meant like say nothing. Say nothing. He's like, no, don't worry, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna I'm say not gonna nothing. Say anything to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, so I'm, what I mean is like, say nothing, say less. He goes, no, don't worry, I'm not going to say a thing. <laughs> yeah, he took it a little bit too literally, didn't he? Bless yeah, him. bless him. Say nothing. But no, with the kids, the kids is a funny one because you think you're looking at them kids and you think you ain't never going to work again. Like, you, what? they probably ain't never had jobs, have they? I doubt it. That Romeo plays for Brentford now. Saying that, though, I reckon he probably did make him get jobs, mate. <laughs> but what jobs are they going to do? So this is the thing. Do you remember that film? It's called The Descendants, George Clooney. Great film in Hawaii. Yeah, he had a load of readies. Yeah. And he says a quote in there that I'm like trying to sort of weave into my life with my boy and Go my on. boys now, because I've got two. And he's like, you give your kids enough to do something, but not enough so that they can do nothing. Yeah. And I'm like, great advice. Yeah. Thanks for that one, George. Um, and I reckon Beckham's got that sort of mentality. Obviously they're not gonna yeah. want, but I reckon he has made them Work. You see, I don't. I think. I think the opposite. I. I get the impression that actually, they're more. Uh, they don't do a lot. Are any of them on drugs? Um, don't know. They look like they are. That one looks like a bit of a stoner. Oh yeah, because they all got the tattoos and. Yeah. You know, but I reckon they smoke weed. Tattoos. I reckon they smoke yeah, they weed. Probably do. But I don't. But they might be on, into the harder stuff. But actually, the oldest one, Brooklyn, he's already married, isn't he? He's quite young. Is he? What's but his I don't. Like? I, God knows what he does though. Takes photos. No, but I don't think he does that no more. <laughs> nah, I don't think he does that no more. Oh, lovely, mate. Uh, how long we got left of this one? Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, we'll just wrap, wrap this up. up. Two six. Um, but yeah, man, I think that he. Um, I don't think they do a lot, mate. I don't think they do a lot at all. Well, I'd like to think they do. But either way, what does it really? It matter? actually watching it made me feel sorry for him because I just thought that. Um, I actually thought like you're never going to be able to get out of his shadow. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
So, but do you reckon Rebecca Lewis, you reckon he done it? I think this is another thing I was going to say, right? I wonder how many birds he's done. Well, for legal reasons, I don't think you can probably suggest, but listen, he's David Beckham. He's definitely done birds. <laughs> I mean, he's David Beckham. This is it, right? When every bird wants to fuck you, it's really hard to not cheat. Mm. It's easy to cheat when no one wants to bang you. I, 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 I mean, I'm not a troll, but I, I found Rebecca Lose's Instagram page. Any good? Um, I mean, she's a bit older now, but How I wrote was her name Rebecca Lose. But Rebecca Lose. But I wrote on one of the com. I wrote on one of the photos. We all would have done the same. Hashtag golden balls. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that I felt because she, so she was fit back in the day. She was getting a lot of stick in the comments. I thought I'm going to give her a bit of support and just be like, listen. Yeah. We. I mean, I'm. I'm. I'm a. I'm a heterosexual man. If David Beckham wants to have a go on me, probably going to say yeah. Yeah. You know. Oh, we can't put it on Rebecca. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. It's no. Beckham. Yeah. Uh, I would say, I don't know if he did that one, but I'm just going to put it out there. There is no way he has not fucked loads of birds. <laughs> maybe before, but maybe for legal reasons, probably before Posh Bias. I would say before, during, after. <laughs> <laughs> it's nailed on. How could you not? Maybe. I mean... I said this to my missus, and she's like, nah, he's probably loyal. Like, he seems loyal. And I'm like, yeah, he seems loyal, but... He's not with his missus at all times, and every woman wants to bang him. I think whether he has done or not, people will still love him. I will. Yeah. His missus probably still will. People will still love him, so. But yeah. Look. But yeah, if you've not watched it already, then go watch go it. Go watch it. I mean, that was just like a nice bit of free advertising, not that they fucking need it, but still, great documentary. Yeah. Loved it. Still loved the guy and, uh, and his missus, and even like his lazy kids. Yeah, and his lazy kids. <laughs> and his lazy kids. But listen, I think that's it for another episode. Um, big up Posh and Bex we're big fans um, to any of the kids listening got nothing against you um, but I mean I don't think you're doing a lot with your life but I might be wrong might be wrong remains to be seen remains to be seen by all means Romeo Cruz Harper uh, uh, the other one Brooklyn Brooklyn <laughs> he's the main one isn't he um, if you feel different, then come on the podcast. Love to speak to you. Speak to you. Like I said, if I met you in person, I'm going to come with a complete different energy um, because I'm a fucking coward at the end of the day. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for another episode, guys. If you you know what to do by now, if you're on Spotify's Apple Podcasts, Spotify's Spotify Apple Podcasts, um, give us a nice honest review. We think give you a five star service. But there you go, YouTube. What they got to do on the YouTube, white boy? Like the video, subscribe, leave us a comment. If you want to know what we're about, if you want to get yourself on the podcast or maybe ask us a question, get us in the comments. And uh, if you are not subscribed, go subscribe and hit the bell icon and you'll never miss a video. Lovely. And we're actually, if you keep me commenting on our, uh, any comments that come up on our videos and stuff like that now, we probably might, we might have a section actually where we read some of them out. So Little Q&A. Don't be afraid to chuck in what you need in there. Yeah, get at us. Troll yeah. us. Do what you got to do. But lovely, guys. Uh, and if you've not watched it already, go watch the Beckham documentary because it is a great, great series. Uh, so, yeah, thanks again to Romford's number one podcaster, Chrissy White, a.k.a. White Boy. I've been Josh James. We'll see you all next week. Peace. <laughs>